Hear that sound? That's a loon. Listen and hear how Grandpa Bob tells all about loons. They're amazing. Hi, it's Miss Becky with the Madison Library, and I'm here with Grandpa Bob. This week at the library, we've been talking a lot about birds. And one of our favorite birds is Ducky Daddle. But Ducky Daddle swims around another type of bird who's a real favorite of ours. Doesn't he, Grandpa Bob? Yes, he does indeed. The little lake that we used to live on up in upstate New York in the Adirondack Park of New York had many birds on it. We always thought of it uh, as kind of Ducky Daddle's Lake because that's where we kind of saw Ducky Daddle and uh, started stories about Ducky Daddle. But there were many other birds and some of them uh, were very interesting birds. My favorite other bird, other than Ducky Daddle, my favorite bird was a loon. Mm -hmm. And there were loons that would fly and they swim in that lake and they fish in that lake. And matter of fact, we left the lake a number of years ago, but we brought with us a picture that uh, we have hanging on our wall here in this house here in Madison. And let me show you this picture because this is a picture of, of loons, baby loons that uh, were, were with their, their mother and they were swimming around and, and they could swim uh, around a little bit and they also could, have, could get a piggyback ride on their mother's back. And we loved that picture so much that we kept it and we have it on, on the wall here in Madison. But there, there's a lot of other things about loons that we saw and uh, one of the things that uh, I, I remember is, is seeing a loon, a big loon flying across the sky over the lake. And it was just a beautiful picture of that loon with the black and the white and uh, making a sound because the loon makes a sound that uh, really the other birds don't make. And it's, it's a kind of an unusual sound, but it, it was uh, fun to see it. The thing that uh, we learned about loons and, and flying is that the loons uh, have a wingspan that's, uh, I don't know, 45 inches or so. It's a big wingspan, so they can fly and fly very, very well. As a matter of fact, loons can fly about as fast as cars can drive on I-55. Really? Loons can, can fly up to 70 miles an hour. Wow, I didn't know that. That's just amazing that they can do it, but they have such wonderful, strong, big wings. But they, they spend their time uh, swimming around on the lake, looking down into the water because their, their uh, whole thing is, is to fish. And mm -hmm. they go down into the water to fish and uh, when they go down into the water, they can stay underwater for about five minutes. Wow. And uh, be looking for fish and getting what, whatever they need and bringing it back up. So it, uh, when you see them on the lake and you see them looking down in the water, they're looking down in the water for a reason. They're, that's going to be their meal. Mm. And uh, the other thing about loons that I've learned is that uh, loons have back legs unlike ducks ducks you know can get out on land and and walk around and in fact at our house on the lake ducks sometimes would come up the path toward our house and uh, and then they'd get frightened if they saw us when they came up too high loons couldn't do that loons their feet are and their legs are back further on their body and when they start to try to walk on land their, their tummy goes right onto the ground, so they, they can't go very far. So you, you'll find that the loon's nest is always down close to the water, so they don't have far to go up to get up to their nest. And the nest is where they have uh, their, their babies. So it, uh, it's uh, an interesting thing to see, and, and particularly as, as the babies, it's, it's hard to believe, but the babies, when they're about one day old, can get out on the water and swim. Wow. And, and actually put their heads under the water. Mm. But in order to move around very much, they have to get up and do a piggyback ride with their mom or their dad. And uh, they, uh, it looks like they have a good time. One of the things that I, I saw in, the, in a video uh, is a, a, a video of a loon uh, dad who had just been fishing himself and came up with some fish and he came over and fed a 
piece of fish to one oh. of the babies. Oh. And that was so cute. Uh, so blooms are, are uh, so something that uh, we will never forget having seen them up on the lake up there. They're just a wonderful thing to see. Uh, when they've been in the water fishing and down in there for uh, five minutes or so, and they come up out of the water, it really came up with a big uh, splash coming up. And uh, that's uh, an interesting thing to see. Mm. I remember when we were little, when I was little, and we would go to New Hampshire and then to the lake in New York, and we used to love to imitate the loon sounds, and we would all get so excited when we saw a loon. Well, can you imitate one now? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I was little. <laughs> I can't either. Oh, you, your voice has changed. That's it. That's it. <laughs> uh, I think, I think uh, we ought to end up with a kind of a, a close-up of a loon. And look at the picture of the loon, the black and the white. And you know that the, they're back with a checkerboard square on it. almost looks like a big checkerboard, except it's got many, many squares on it. But they are a beautiful bird, and uh, you'll see that uh, as you look at a close-up of them, that they have kind of eyes that are red, and uh, that is set up to help them when they go underwater, so that they can see and find oh. the, the fish that they they need. You, so you know a lot about loons, Dad. Well, I've learned a little bit over the years. <laughs> <laughs> now, did Ducky Daddle have any experiences with a loon? I'm sure he did, but uh, uh, Ducky Daddle has, uh, uh, can't get too close to, none of them can get too close to the loons, because the loons, you know, they, they will go underwater and swim away if, if somebody comes mm -hmm. up close to them. So yes. that, that's uh, a reason that they can't get too close to, ha to them or, or play with them or what have you. I got they, you. they stay with themselves. Ah, so Ducky Daddle didn't have a whole lot of close-up experience with a loon. Well, he saw them. Yeah. Oh, yes. And they were just fun to watch. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much, Dad. Oh, you're welcome. I'm going to put some links on our Facebook post to more information about loons so the kids can look up some information, too. Sure. That would be fun. I'll also put a link to a loon coloring page on this Facebook post so they can just click and color in a loon. No, that'd be great. Could you put a link to uh, a Ducky Daddle coloring page for the same thing so you, you could color both of them? Sure, of course. I always like to keep Ducky Daddle involved. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Grandpa Bob. You're welcome.